Have you ever wished that you could make your Zoom meetings more interactive, like even adding a quiz for your participants? Hi everyone, I'm Betsy, and in this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to create a quiz in Zoom using the built-in polls and quizzes tool. Whether you're teaching, training, or running workshops, quizzes are a fantastic way to boost engagement and check understanding in real time. Okay, let's go take a look. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a quiz. So we're going to go back up and click create. Now this is like at the break time where you're just about to have a stretch break and you want to put up a quiz, really short quiz, just to like test their knowledge about something you just taught. And so we're going to create one and I'm going to do one for you. So I'm going to call this Zoom trivia. And maybe I'm going to say something like this, which is which type of poll question lets you your participants pick multiple, pick all that apply. I don't want to give it away, right? All right. So this question is single choice because they can only pick one right or wrong. And so the choices I'm going to give them are the choices behind questions. So I'm going to say, is it single choice? These are all the question types, right? Because what type of poll question, short answer, long answer, fill in the blanks. I'm going to mix it up a bit, fill in the blank, you know, multiple choice. You kind of get the, the gist of this. So you're going to give them options, maybe mix it up a bit for them. Now, here's how you make it a quiz in the upper right corner. So right up there, we're going to click on that button there, make it a quiz and the magic happens. So in this, now you see an option here and it says, please set answer. So by making it a quiz, that option just appeared. And so when we click there, please set the answer. Now I get to pick which one's the right answer. All that applies. So it's this one, multiple choice, then I click done. So now I'm going to run this for you. You're going to get a feel for it. Let's do one more. This is always fun for the instructor too, right? It's like, what would you ask? That would be Zoom trivia. So in reactions, which row of icons creates animated emojis? Okay, so I'm just going to do first, or I should say top, top, middle, or bottom. Then I'm going to make it a quiz, which it is already. My set answer is right there. There it is. Click that, and then it is the top row. That is the correct answer. Now I am going to make these required. I don't need to show it as a drop down. I'm not going to do breakout rooms. I can't remember if I made the other one required. So if you need to go back to, if you need to go back to it, you can see there's a pencil in the bottom right corner of every question, and then you can click edit there. See, I missed it. So I'm going to make that required. So with a quiz, again, we want you to engage. We want you to answer and get that feel of, did you understand? Was there comprehension? You know, this is their own like self assessment. And then I'm going to save it. Okay. So now we come back out and I'm going to share with you what I see, bring in my speaker mode and right here. There's my polls. Only the host and co-host have this. Now, because I ran one before, the old one is still there. So I'm going to go back to my library. And then these are, this is everything you just saw on my screen. It all comes up there. So I could, because I named it quiz, I could search, you know, to go find it quickly. And then there it is, Zoom trivia quiz. And so I hover my pointer over it and then I click launch. All right. Now you know how to create and run quizzes in Zoom to make your meetings and your trainings, your workshops and classes more engaging. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe definitely for more easy Zoom tips and tricks and tutorials. And drop a comment below if you'd like me to cover any more polls, quizzes, surveys, topics. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.